Hello, my name is Ruth Guthrie and I teach at Cal Poly Pomona in the Computer Information Systems Department, that's in the College of Business, and I'm responsible for a course called CIS 310 Management Information Systems, and uh, just in fall this year we adopted an OER textbook called Information Systems uh, for Business and Beyond. I'm also a member of the California OER Council, and it really opened my eyes to how many choices there were that were alternatives to publisher-based textbooks. And so when I became the, when I reluctantly became the person in charge of this course, I thought, well, if I'm going to be in charge, I'm going to select the book. But, but it wasn't just me. There were actually three okay textbooks we found that were open source free books. And we had a faculty committee look at the three books. And this one that we selected was by far the best of the, the three. And then I had a little faculty buy-in because I had two colleagues help me select the book. Yes, we thought about mixing the books, but it seemed like for our students it would be more clear to have one source. And it was really great that it was a CC BY copyright because we had looked at this book and felt that there were a couple of missing things that we'd like to develop ourselves. And so having it open license and being able to cut it up, we could insert our own chapters wherever we saw fit. Uh, it's actually uh, materials that faculty developed. So we were lacking a chapter on data warehousing, business intelligence, and uh, e-commerce. And those chapters are in progress and will probably be implemented by the end of the term. Uh, this is a cover of the book we adopted and we found it at sailor.org and it's written by David Borgios. Uh, what we liked about the book is the writing style, very engaging to students. It has some nice, nice examples and uh, questions and activities at the end of each chapter and um, that we could uh, cut it up and give it to students as they saw fit and of course because it's free. The traditional book for this class costs $150 and for them to go to a free book was really, really quite um, revolutionary for our campus and especially in the College of Business. This is a very large course. There's typically 70 students in a section and we teach maybe five or six sections a term. We teach in quarters, so that's three terms a year. And the annual enrollment is uh, about 1,200 students. And so if you do the math, you can see it's quite a significant savings. So the book from Sailor did not have PowerPoint slides and did not have a test bank and a couple of other things that we thought would be nice to have. And so we actually applied for a grant on campus so that we could give faculty professional development funding to develop the things that we felt we needed to make this book succeed. So the faculty created a test bank and we divided up the work and three faculty worked on different chapters. As I said before, we're authoring separate chapters that we'll share with everyone. And then we made PowerPoint presentations for all the chapters in the book. And a nice thing about this is that the author of the book found uh, out about our work because we have a public website where anybody can access the information. And he asked if he could use our PowerPoints. And we <laughs> said, of course you can. And then I got an email from somebody at Dartmouth who is trying the free book also and asked if he could use the materials. And I said, go right ahead, help yourself. Uh, the other materials we built that were kind of beyond the grant were a glossary for the book. The book originally didn't have one, but it was, uh, we had some student labor over the summer, and who better to build a glossary for students to read than a student worker? We also implemented interactive quizzing where we took the glossary items and put them in uh, like interactive um, flashcards and it has little mini games for students to play where they have to click and uh, remove the items or match the items. I'll show you a picture of that right now. Um, this is a flashcard. It's a PowerPoint so I can't show you it actively and this is what the 
mini game looks like and you have to find data and match it to the definition of data and the computer times you and everything. So that's kind of fun maybe, but we felt kind of like we had to compete with the publisher that offers adaptive learning. But I do not know how much the students use that. Probably they're happier reading a chapter and thinking. This is our course template. So all the faculty teaching this course will copy this and then do what they want with their own individual courses. And there's a copy of the syllabus, oh, TPT, uh, a copy of the book under course information in several different formats that were provided by the Sailor Foundation and uh, the glossary and then a link to the Quizlet quizzing. And when you go under weekly content, we're on quarters, so we teach in a 10-week format. Each week of the course has an overview that goes over the learning objectives, the textbook. So we've got the complete textbook if the student wants to see the whole thing. We've got just the chapter that they're focusing on, and we provided that in Word and PDF formats because that, those were the most common things the students could use the PowerPoints for the chapter so the students could use those, and then a link to the Quizlet account. And then, like I said, a chapter quiz on the information in the chapter, and then a few support articles if people wanted to do more reading in a uh, contextualized mode. So we're here in the full version of the book now, all 167 pages. And if I scroll down to the table of contents, a part that I liked was uh, globalization and the digital divide. And what I liked about this chapter, and it's towards the end of the book, is that it really makes the student think about IT, information technology, in a bigger sense and a bigger way than just thinking about their computer on their desk or a computer in an office because they're going into a world where they're more than just office workers. They're global citizens and they need to think about the implications and impacts of technologies. The, the, enroll the annual enrollment in this course is about 1,200 students and the cost of the textbook is typically $150,000. At the time that we did the measurements, 2014, that we calculated that the annual savings would be $167,000. These are comments from the students, and I didn't write this in all caps, the student did. I love free textbooks. I really enjoyed using this book. I liked having access to it anywhere online and having a printed version for when I had no computer access for a cheaper price. And we did, we, the bookstore was very, very helpful and they printed the text, 100 copies and, for the term and charged $15 for the book and it sold out in the first two days. Mm -hmm. uh, I really liked how I, I have quick access to my ebook through my phone, laptop or desktop. I was able to study anywhere. And then the last quote is my favorite. I really like this system and how the department is making an effort. It shows that you guys really care about us, the students, and the financial struggles we go through. And you're actively trying to combat unfair high textbook fees for us. The book style is very appreciated and should be extended to all departments and classes. Yes, it has made me and my colleagues very interested in authoring OER and by adding chapters to this book and by becoming part of a mini community on the book, it's really kind of neat to collaborate with colleagues and to be able to make, if we had, if we had to start with a, writing an entire book, I don't think we'd have done it, but being able to build onto a book made it possible for us and uh, we're pretty happy with the result. It was very gratifying to have something complete and use it directly in the classroom.